Buddy Mikey here, SD Fishing Steps. I'm down here at the San Diego Sport Fishing Landings. About to wait, make my way over to H&M Landing to hop on the Poseidon. Got the Rosenden Electric trip. Thank you, Danny Carr, Rosenden Electric, for taking me on the trip. We're gonna be doing some filming. And then we also got the Constitution that they booked, SD Kook. He's gonna be coming by. I don't know if any of you have checked out his videos as well. He's got some awesome San Diego fishing video so he'll be out there filming on constitution on me on poseidon it is thursday august 17 2023 and we there's our hurricane coming on sunday so i'm getting some fishing in before then i'll go through all my setups right here i got my gear my tackle bag cameras sleeping bag all good if you haven't already smash that subscribe pound that like show love and support channels memberships amazon storefront all that good stuff Living the dream, fishing hard on the sport boats now. We got fishermen's landing tackle right here. Islanders cruising in there, probably leaving tonight. Same thing. We got Mustang, Tomahawk, all the boats here. That fisherman's landing. Tuna statue. Royal Star, Red Rooster, three long range boats. Sport fishing legacy here, San Diego. This the the statue. We're just cruising. Nice and quiet and empty here. Just met Joe, he's going on New Loan. There's New Loan right there. All the boats, Ocean Odyssey. Gonna, I'm gonna go down to the boat. We draw my stuff off. Is that cool? Yeah, okay. yeah right on. I just parked over there. Where'd you park at? Yeah. You got Danny right there. He's organizing the trip. And an HM landing right down here. Prime time. Luxury six pack boat right here. Oceanside 95, there's Poseidon down there towards the end, Horizon, Captain Bill from Malahini, all the boats. Here we go, H&M Landing, all the boats, from here, producer, relentless, real deal I think, you know, real champion, there's one of the boats, Constitution. How you doing? Ready to do yeah, you know it. <laughs> Try to catch a bluefin tuna. We'll see. You know how it goes. Don't forget Nautilus here, Captain Captain Trevor. Went out with him. You can check out. I'll flash the card for that video. An awesome six-pack boat right there. And then here's Poseidon. What we're working with. Looking good. Rods and reels, all the bags. I'm gonna go meet Danny. I saw him at Mitch's Seafood.
Brandon getting it, dude. Trinidad. It's all because of Mikey right there with <laughs> wow. the invite. That's half his. Scoring with the raffle. <laughs> Loving it. $50 yeah. Secret. Trinidad Toya, yep. Yeah. The secret custom. Navy SEAL Foundation. Dang. Did you design those, Chris? I helped. Mainly Danny. Awesome. Mainly Danny. Yeah. Run, man. Yeah, the Navy Rosen Den Navy SEAL. Look at that. Special edition. Yeah, I believe it's a. 7630 60, 6480 oh, nice. but 8 foot or 8 foot 6 8 foot, eight foot. Nice. Eight foot. Nice. Eight foot. Nice. Such a good touch. those trinidads are so nice score it yeah all right so there's the constitution that's what the boat we were supposed to go on with the we got Poseidon right here and now they got the other group of guys going on Oceanside 95 so let's get the gear loaded up. Let's get it. All right, so here we go. We're coming into the galley. You got the bathrooms over here at the stand-up showers. Nice big galley area. Really nice inside of the boat here on the Poseidon. We're going down in the bunk rooms. Let's see which one. That room's all filled up there. Yeah, and then this one, this one. Oh, there's one down here. No. I'll go on the other side. I'm gonna check in the other one. Thank you. Here. Dang, there's a lot of staterooms. Oh. What time is it right now? 7.30? 7.15. We're leaving the docks, H&M Landing. Next stop. Right, the middle man. of the ocean. <laughs> First off, we'll introduce our crew on deck. We got Myron, Martin, and Kenny. Call four chop. In the galley, we got uh, Chef Antonio. Driving on us tonight, we have Captain Brian, and my name is Keith. Most Captain important Keith. this trip, everybody, is your safety. Obviously, there might be some hazards on this boat. Could be some open hatches, a slippery deck. Uh, let's pull fish over the rail with those long gaps. Here. So just be super careful on the deck here. We've got both uh, life jackets on board the galley. Don't hesitate to put the thing out. You want to notify everyone first. Throw a fire extinguisher. Uh, pull the pin, point the nozzle, and squeeze the trigger. Who's Talica 20? Is that yours? Yeah. That's the big boy. That's the real deal right there. That's a beautiful reel. You don't. You're not messing. And then you got the Raptor. That's the L. Yeah, I got that same one. LX Raptor. Yep. We're heading on out to the main receiver. You are not messing around. You've been in, through this rodeo a couple times, huh? Well, I spent a lot of money to do it. I'll say that. <laughs> so I think I think probably a good a good portion of this boat Google like bluefin tuna bite. In the last couple of weeks, because everyone on this boat's like, yeah, dude, I've seen this guy's videos. He's talking about Danny and the Tuna Well last year. Me included. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, Thank my, you. My name is uh, Keith. Uh, I'm the owner and operator of this boat, and uh, basically run operate boats my entire life. Uh, I've owned three sport boats. I own the Constitution, Poseidon, Mike Rosen, and now the Tuna Well. Uh, basically, on the water 300 days a year for over 30 years. Um, so our plan is, I'm gonna take you guys where we were fishing our last trip. Um, we're gonna go to bluefin fishing, and we're gonna to go to the Tanner Bank, okay? Yeah. So um, pretty easy fishing, but it, it can be a little bit difficult. Um, a lot of, uh, uh, we're gonna be anchoring up on the, uh, in the area, find the school of bluefin, and we'll be ch chumming the whole entire time. We will be flying the kite also. Yes. Our last trip, we had uh, over 25 fish on the kite. Yes. Okay. And actually, yesterday alone, my last trip, oh. yesterday alone, we had over 25 fish. And the fish varied anywhere from 30 pounds to 100 pounders. And it was just steady, steady on the, on the kite. I heard today was a little bit of a down day, but it was still pretty darn good. Maybe tomorrow, every day is different. Our last trip, we had a three day. The first day was a little 
Um, okay, the second day was much, much better. Okay, so we have, you know, a uh, hundred mile run to make tonight. So we're gonna be out there, you know, basically 11, 11 hours, 12 hours, depending on current conditions and everything that we got going on. Okay, uh, primary uh, line size that you wanna be fishing is uh, 40 pound. You wanna be fishing 40 if you can. If they're not biting the 40, switch to 30. But uh, they've been eating that 40 really good and even 50 pound, okay? Um, on that, you want to use a number four circle hook, a very small circle hook here. Uh, that circle hook, very small. You want to hook that, that bait, and then all these fish are literally hooked at the bait tank, okay? Um, it's where you, how you handle the bait, how you hook your bait, and then getting into position and, and, and avoiding trying to avoid tangles, okay? So um, when this fish starts to bite, is literally we're going to have the wind come out of the west, but when the current swings, it's going to swing the stern right out to the north. And when that thing swings out to the north, they're biting. They're eating at north. They will eat a different current when the current slacks off. But first thing in the morning, it's a very strong current, and that fish wants to get with it pretty quick. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to the bait tank. You want to stick your hand inside the bait tank. You want to come up to the tank with your rod in your armpit, and you want to bring about a foot off the ground. Okay, why do you want it in, in a foot off the ground and your hook the same length stretched out to your reel? Okay, you want to have plenty of room. You don't want it a foot away from the tip, so you're trying to bait your hook. You want to bait your hook in the hand well, okay? And it, it can be a little tricky with a little circle hook, uh, but the key is come to the hand well. And the reason why we keep our foot a rod a foot off the an armpit, a foot off the deck, A, we're not poking the, the, the guy, our, one of our crew members that's chumming. And also, too, somebody doesn't kick your rod as they walk by and put a hook in your hand. Okay, um, not a problem. Pull them all out, rip them out, but it's <laughs> may not 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 like it. But it, it's uh, something I do on the regular. But uh, do those big jig, jig uh, stainless steel jigs that we fish with at night. We won't be doing that. We just don't have enough time. We have to travel all night long. But uh, um, but just uh, come to the hand well. Stick your hand inside the bottom of the the, the well, and they're going to swim back and forth. Find the one that has you know the the, the brightest. The, the, try not to find anything that has any red spots or anything like that. If it's got red on it, don't pass that up. We're gonna we're gonna scoop that out. We're gonna load up the hand wells and then we chum out of our hand wells. We pick all the bad ones and we chum those. We get rid of those. So just leave them in there. We'll go there and pick through and keep that steady flow of, of, of chum going in the water to go along with all your hook baits are going in the water to also feed the school too. Um, and the key is hooking your baits in the butt. Okay, you flip the sardine over, there's a, a two little anal fins that stick out, and that's where you want to stick your hook. And you look at your circle hook, and you're in the water, in the water, and you just want to take that tip of your circle hook and just feed it all the way through. It's kind of a, a round forward motion. If you've never hooked a bait before, um, you know, it can, it can be a little tricky, and if you need any help, you know, all my crew is ready to help you guys and get you out there. Um, we're using conventional reels, these particular um, uh, stuff that we have available for anybody that needs them on, on the strip is an accurate turn 500 loaded up full brand new 40 pound line with a uh, uh, a, uh, a nice number uh, number four circle hook right here okay and uh, this uh, this rig here is absolutely belly if uh, you brought some of your own personal gear and you're not 100 percent sure just these reels right here will literally take a, 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 a lousy bait and get fed. I mean, these things free spool like no, no other business, and they work really, really good, these accurates. And it's matched up with an eight foot rod, uh, a Valiant rod, so can't beat it. There's 20 of them out there, okay? So if you want to try one out, um, feel free. I think there's 22 of us here on this trip. 22? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so there's plenty of rods, and, and, and for the ones that don't didn't bring any gear, this is the best you can get. For what we're doing, you can't beat it, okay? Now, these, uh, these reels are star drags. They're designed for, and these are going to be set, uh, preset for the the fish we're for the for the power test we're fishing with. And what you're going to want to do is put your bait in the water. Um, you're going to start off, you know, depending on how the current is and everything. Um, our last trip, everybody was literally fishing on the side of the boat, okay? Because we had the current was going to the north, the wind was strong enough that was pointing the the boat kind of. Down, down swell, so all the lines were right ripping up, which was made it for an ideal situation because, you know, we literally we took an area where we normally fish off the stern and just enlarged it, and now we have more working area. You can fish anywhere off the bow, off the side of the boat, and get your baits out there. 
biggest trickiest thing is get your bait out. The ones that catch, you know, catch a lot of fish, it's a long soak. Okay, these bluefin have not been really feeding right underneath the boat, and every once in a while they'll start splashing. We'll kick some baits out, fly line, and right away within like five seconds to get bit. Key is get your butt hook bait, cast it in the water, and let it go out. Let it let's, let's go out and go with the current. Don't thumb it too hard. The more you want to let it flow, just a light thumb pressure on that spool, and let that thing go out. Because the more pressure you put on there, you're just He's, that bait is trying to work so hard to get away off that reel. You got this beautiful reel that's just sending it out there. And the baits that get out the zone that are the most lively get fed. Okay, those are the ones that get the most bites. So key is get it out there, get it in the zone, and all of a sudden you're gonna feel a thump thump, and then you're gonna feel the spool start taking off. You're gonna to wanna to count to three seconds, relax, put it in gear. Don't swing the hook, because we're swing the rod, we're fishing circle hooks, so we want to hook them in the corner of the mouth. Okay, these are 100 pounders that got a lot of these fish. So we want to get that hook in the corner. If you swing on it, you might get hooked in the, in the front of the mouth, and then they're chewing on it, and then you fight it for 30 minutes, and then the fish is chewed through, and you lose it right at color. You're like, oh my goodness, what happened? Well, didn't hook it in the right spot. So point at it, put it in gear, nice and calm. Wind into it, and just let, and let us know. Fresh one, hook up, whatever you guys want to do. You know, biter, we got one. Let us know. You're hooked up. We're going to run over to you. We're going to do a quick double check on your drag. And the key is letting that fish run and taking off, you know, and and running. Okay, with and, and, and you think, oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I don't have much line on the reel. Just let it go. We have about know, 50 pounds spectra underneath there. The thing's just, it's got tons of line on these reels, okay? Even the 100 pounders, most of them slow down right at the very end. They get to the fifth inch, but they get pretty close down to the bottom of this pool, but that's okay. Um, if it's getting dangerously close, we will may bump it a notch or two, but not too much because as the spool decreases, the drag increases automatically. You know, so that's just physics. Okay, it's all so how that works out. So as the spool decreases, the drag automatically increases. So just let it run, let it pull drag, and and if you can at that point, put a bend on it. That adds a little bit of extra uh, pressure on that fish, and let it pull, and just let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Yeah, uh, so let them run, that's the key. And it's all fly, no lures. You don't need to worry about poppers or anything like that. It is um, this 100% fly line, get it out there. There's some big yellowtail, 30 pound yellowtail swimming around too. Uh, but that, that bluefin is 30 to 100 plus pounds, uh, 120, 130, 150, you know, just under 150 so on some of them. And we've been laying them on this gear, no problem. Takes time. We let them run, we tire them out, and then once we get to the end game, we'll come up and help you hand line this thing, and we slowly get them up. But we gotta, you gotta spend at least 30 minutes on them, just wear them out, and then, and then, and then at that point, you know, we uh, we get them up and get them on the boat. So, I mean, literally trophy fish on 30 pound tests, so, or 40 pound. These rods are set with 40. Thumb pressure, thumb on. Is, is, has, who hasn't fished before? Who has never like gone out and done? Southern California sport fishing with live bait. You have it? Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So you're the guys I'm really looking for. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get you guys hooked up by putting you guys on the kite. You know, we'll we you know we hook some. Unless you hook your own and you start doing a good good thing. <laughs> yeah. Our goal is I think majority of you guys I look at the gear out there, majority are gonna be able to hook their fish and we're gonna the goal is to get everybody a bluefin to get started, right? We want everybody to go home with fish. So this whole thing of oh we're going by a numbered system you know works on long trips where everybody's you know eventually catches fish but for like just a, a we are getting we're literally fishing the full day and then we're going to drive all the way back and the goal is to send everybody home with bluefin have a really nice trip remember there's gonna be tangles there's gonna be possibly fish loss it happens okay it happens but we promise you you know that we're looking after you and for the ones that haven't you know got their fish I'm gonna go hey who hasn't caught one yet you're gonna hear a lot of that you say, I have it. Cool. Got plenty of time, one in your line. Put your hook down, rack it up in the rod, and come see me. Because with the, by the time we're coming tight, we hook a lot of these fish, and we have a very tight uh, kite clip, and we're literally hook them in the clip, and they're pulling line down. And uh, it takes a while to bring that kite in. We, we manually pop it out of the kite, and it's hooked. And then by that point, you're already behind us. You're like, okay, cool. And then we'll get you. And the key is keeping it tight. It's you almost it almost doesn't feel like 
fun on, on heavy kite gear, but the goal is that kite <laughs> fish gets to the boat, we get on there and kill that thing, and we do it as fast as we possibly can. Everybody has a good time. Where is Tanner at? Tanner's, uh, it's a Tanner Bank, is, is a, we're going to go past San Clemente Island, and it is 100 miles offshore. Yeah, we have the Cortez Bank, and we have the Tanner Bank out there. So uh, they separate each other about four miles. We'll see how tomorrow goes, what brings us. We're going we're gonna to load up our bow bay tank, and then we're going to get out. Uh, oh, our, our deckhands, Jaime, Martin, and Porkchop. I'm sure you can figure out who Porkchop is. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Jaime and Martin, all these guys are from Puerto Vallarta. Okay, I, I've had all my all my boats, uh, I've been down Puerto Vallarta for 17 years. I've taken um, these boats down there, and I'm like, you're out of your mind. And fishing for that giant elephant tuna for 17 years. That, you know, small ones, they come out of the womb at 100 pounds there. So everything's like, you know, 150 <laughs> to, you know, 400 pounds. I have two over 400 there. How far is the run? Yeah. Um, we're going to be there. It's going to be dependent on how we're going to load these about tanks and we're out of here. Um, I'm guessing. Probably 80, 80. Let me point out the point and I'll make an announcement. So I'll give everybody a you set your alarms, go get a great night's nice rest. All right, it's about 8 o'clock right now. We're heading out, leaving the bay. I got my setup tied up right here. The Pen Fathom 25 star drag reel 40 pound braid then top shot a 40 pound mono with the uh, number two ring circle hook and that's on the cal star west coast rod 15 to 40 pound boy it's my 40 pound fly line set of this with captain keith said for fishing on the tanner we're heading out to tanner bank all right good morning good morning good morning here we are out at Tanner Bank, we made it 100 miles offshore. Whole fleet's out here, got intrepid, it looks like. Some of the other boats, so I'm gonna go ahead and have my chilaquiles. It's about 8 o'clock, it took us about 12 hours to get out here. It's 8 a.m. right now, no, 7 a.m. right now. We're gonna start anchor up and start fishing, so I'm gonna get some breakfast in first. There is Chef Horton, chilaquiles. Anthony, make it happen. Breakfast before the slave pass. Dropping the anchor, huh? Yeah. How deep is it here? 32 fathoms. 180 feet, 190 feet. This is the weapon of choice. Pen Fathom 25 Star Drag. Single speed. Cal, Cal Star West Coast, 15 to 40. 40 pound mono. Little ring circle hook. Long soaks, they're saying. On the bottom side. Bite. Yeah, just put a pull on that thing. See what happens. Nice, 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 nice. You got know a fish on there? Is it pulling drag? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine's not pulling drag. So I think I just got somebody. Catch up fast. Go ahead and one of those out.
here? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, yeah. Feels like fish. There you go. Finally. There it is. Here we go. Let me go in the corner here. I'm going to go under you. I'm going to go under you. There we go. Come under you, I'm gonna go under you. Color! Color! Go over me! No, 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 no. Hang on, guys. Hang on here. Let me see that. 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 Okay, we're good. We're clear. Nice, Keith. Okay, hang on. We're not out. Let's hang it. All right, come on. There we go. Yeah, gotcha. Antonio. Right here. Okay. On the bro. Oh, right there. Antonio. Go right there. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got Here. Another one. Okay, right here. Please. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hannah's <laughs> back here. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> Do this. This one here. 12, Tim. 13, Mike. 14, Ma. Uh, 20, Mikey. 20. Really? Yeah, Bente. Yeah, buddy. Moving tuna, I got him. It was a weird bite for you too, huh? Yeah. I, I, it, I had it a lot earlier than I thought. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. You're... Oh, boy, that was a big one right there. Go the iron or no? No, bait. Okay. Line of bait. Yeah. Catch him. But, not, but off of this oh, side yeah. or you go on? Boil, oh. Tight fish right here. Come on up. Come on up. Tag right on it. Nice. Nice. There you go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Small blue antenna. We'll top for that one. There we go. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Blue, there it is. We'll take that. Nice. Hopefully a lot more of that coming in. Yeah. Right. You, you put a sardine out on the kite? Yeah. Uh -huh. Double sardine. Yeah. Double sardine, double, double trouble. Yep, yeah. double sardine. If that thing felt like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Those, some powerful fish. Right? <laughs> 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 I thought that was like. Hey, what happened? Oh my god. You know? What am I going to do if I get some? Just, Just keep turning the handle. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's your number? 21. 21. Like, All right. Just a kite fish. Got other people hooked up here. A couple hookups. I got one already. Whale. Wow, look at that whale. Yeah. You got whales out here. Yeah, who's going to hook the whale? Doesn't want to if he doesn't want to swim, eject him. Get a new one. Oh yeah. No, he doesn't want to go, one. huh? You pulled the hook out after. Another one. Is that number five? 
Oh, you're so close. Okay, what's the same one? Yeah, same one. Quickly. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, Let's go! I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Right on. Which one's the biggest so far? Mine. <laughs> it is. <laughs> a bluefin's a bluefin. Just get him on. Holy cow, that's gonna be a mess. <laughs> like, nice fish. That's a good one. Oh, wow, look at that one. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was green braid is actually uh, eel grass on there. Yeah. I was like, somebody's got a green braid right in there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just worked him on that big setup though, huh? He didn't put much of a bite. <laughs> <laughs> nice show. That's fine, man. Go ahead. Did you get your fish? Yeah. You got a limit of bluefin already? <laughs> <laughs> Limits already. It's been like 30 minutes. You got a limit of bluefin already. Keep fishing. Catch somebody else's limit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're at 810 right now. I <laughs> already got two fish. How many have you caught on the kite so far? Uh, we got three. Three on the three kite? Yeah. On the kite, yeah. Oh, look at the spectra there. Yeah. Out of way, Chris. <laughs> Didn't you just say the biggest fish was running? Right, and then, oh. There we go. Oh, last, I got him. Yeah. They're right here. Come under you. Fish on. Double. Yeah. Triple. There we go. Triple, yeah. Just keep turning the handle, Chris. Just keep turning the handle. You're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. Keep one. Keep one. Keep one. Hey, you hooked one. That's that. Yeah, that's what matters. Hey, but you haven't landed it yet. Stay with it. I see him finally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Stop for a second. What, he's wearing you down or what? Tired. Ready? Go, get going. Let's go. Put your rod away from the boat, a straight out. Slip away so he doesn't want to slip underneath the boat. Oh, okay. We don't want to hang up on the propellers here. One, one, one. There we go. He's coming back from underneath the boat here. And they're going to pop up right here in a second. There he is. Oh, look at that fish. That blue fish. There, there it is, is Chris. Nice one. <laughs> keep on it. Keep blue on it. Blue fin tuna. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, there we go. Nice yeah, one. Chris. Nice <laughs> one. <laughs> Damn! That is right, a beauty right there! Right there. Right there. <laughs> Good job, Chris! Well, now you know what you gotta do next, right? Okay, some loose, loose braid here. Um, Allie, do you have green braid? Is, I do. You know, I think you're on this fish yep. here. That's why I'm just letting it chill. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hey, yeah. yeah, that's right. a beauty right there. That smash. That was a long soak. You had it out there for a long time. No, no. It went, went it went out far quick. All right, go catch some more. Okay. Forty pound mono. 
Oh, we got the first one here. Yeah, and this is my second one. Coming down. Oh, there we go. First one. Yeah, right it's 40 because I used my other pole on the other fish. Both of them are 40 yeah. pound mono. Yeah. yeah. Nice job. They're getting bigger. Yeah, are getting bigger. Okay. Let's find out. Chris is hooked up <laughs> big time. Nice, Chris. Can we go under, under you? Over you? Going right now. Leave your lines out there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in. I think. We don't know. <laughs> Another one. Good job, Chris. We don't know. I think you were on it for a while. Nice. Wait, he swallowed both the hooks, huh? Yeah, he took them both. <laughs> Get ready. Hungry. Bring it to Mike. They're coming through? Be ready. They're coming oh, through. Bluefin tuna, and then we'll mini shark. Sorry? Hook up on the live bait. Captain Keith guy, got a hook up on the kite. Going hard. Color. Collar right here. There it is, another one. Good job. That was the one on the kite. All right. Uh, <laughs> one on the board. Yeah, look at that Makairo. Yeah. <laughs> just put the hurdy duel with that thing on. Oh, just, just winched him in. Uh -huh. One, two, three. <laughs> He's like, hold on, 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 Hey, how many is that for you now? That's three. <laughs> the Slayer. Getting tired yet? <laughs> Always butt hook? No. Oh, nose hook. 40 pound test? 30. 30 pound test? Uh oh, <laughs> who's hooked up? Oh, lost it. Move it. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. It's my two, but I gotta get more. Still just not another kite fish? Another kite. <laughs> Captain Keith going to town. Yeah, one more eight guys, I need to <laughs> Slayer Chris, tight again. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. There you go. Oh, yeah. Chris just hooked up in the corner right here. Yeah, he was just had it out right there. Jubal is on it. We got 920 right now. 
already got my limits. A lot of other shit. Okay, one. Go. Go. First drop. 23 on the first. Halfway to our limits already. Yeah. Not, not even 9 o'clock yet. Let's see. 920. 920, yep. Here we go. First drop. Captain Keith making yeah, dreams boy. come true. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Give a shot with one of these. They got these accurate turns right here. Accurate Valiant Rod. They're using mean smaller circle hook. <laughs> Chris is on the board with a big old blue fin, his yeah, first one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> he went on the trip last year and didn't get one, and then he hooked it. I caught Dorado last year. You gotta eat the liver. No, the heart. I eat the liver. Oh, the liver or the heart? I told I told him the heart, and he wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? I mean, do we have to? Yeah. It's already in there. I told you there was true, and then you didn't listen to me. I'm done. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, private boat. I'll hang you up my, I'll, I'll hang up my boat line. <laughs> I'm gonna boat in my house. I'm talking to the boat. In my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, who's the boss? Dave Goldleaf, lettering, who's the boss? Sails on the way. I'm in no rush. Bigger one, Chris? I don't think so. Still have to cut. I'll be optimistic about it. <laughs> Way out there. Long show. Uh huh. So we got two going out, that was only two, right? One, two. I thought they had one on the bow. I thought so too, but it broke off. I think it's a tangle, I don't know. Yeah, you're here. Shots. Thank you. Yeah. Put it in your mouth, though. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is it still, it's, it's still? It's still recording. It's still recording. Okay. Now. All, right. All right, bigger fish. Had a low, really long. So really far out there. Thanks to Captain Keith, put us on the spot. <laughs> Yet? Yeah. Sweet. He's digging. All right, deep color on that one over there. Deep color over there. Deep right down there. Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, you can see it. There we go. Oh, there it is. 
Oh yeah, you can see it. Here you go. Look at that. Jeff Antonio, the Chile Quiles. You had it far out there? Not really, to be honest. No? Maybe. Yeah. Oh! Butt hook though. Oh, yeah, that's there a we go. Butt hook though? 40, yeah. 40 yeah, pound butt hook. 30, bro. Oh, you dropped it to 30? Yeah. Did the trick? It worked. That's why you were saying you want to take your time yeah, with well, it off. Yeah. Number 10 on that one, right? I don't know. This oh, is, yeah, I think you got me by a little. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I you have I, a buttery. Is that, that one's yours? Yeah, right? that one's yeah. mine. That one's yours. I don't uh, know. We'll do pixie. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, a little like double it. team. That was yeah, sick. Seaguar, thirty pound. Yeah. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Butter getting it. That's a good one. I didn't realize how'd that feel? There you go. <laughs> nice fish. Were you soaking that for a while? Was it way out there? Quarter of your school left. Is that your first one today? Yeah, it's way. <laughs> yeah, the drag was too. <laughs> nice, hooked up. He's tight. Drag check here. There we go. All right. Go ahead and set it on the rail right here. The rubber core right there. A little closer. All right, we're gonna start turning the handle. How long have you been on this thing? Thirty minutes. <laughs> Turn it out a little bit. Give him a wall, man. Keep going. One more circle there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Close to the rail. Can you see this fish? A little closer. A little closer. Why am I like that? Why am I like that? Woo! Ho ho ho! Wait! Uh oh, uh oh, it's just it's hanging by the skin! <laughs> go. Got him! <laughs> Great Ooh. job! Good job! First blue fish. There it is. That means you get to eat the heart. All right. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yes. There you go. Nice. Alright. We'll take it back there. Don't mean to take the rod through this. Not yet. Not yet. Winders up. Just winders in. Just get it in. Just get it in. Okay, bring your rod this way. Walk this way. I got this. I'll take the rod. Oh, man. How's it feel? How's that fish feel? <laughs> you haven't even gone to the boat yet. Yeah, <laughs> stay all with it. Have you pulled on a bluefin before? No. Yeah, so you get to feel yeah. that power. <laughs> yeah. You're right here. Oh, you're back on it. Here you go. You have to get back on it. Guys, you gotta feel your 
Have you been seeing them hit it? Yeah. Come up and hit it? Yeah. That last one was grande? It's grande. This yeah. Is you see the bait? No. It's the little piece, orange. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. the, yeah, 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 yeah the flag the right bait. there, yeah. Nice. And then two sardines. Two sardines. Yeah. And then the Bo Boston kite, no, no yeah. helium. And the bite opened the click. Man, the uh, wind not too bad right now. Maybe I take the drone. <laughs> yeah. By the drone with the kite. The, yeah. The time is now. How many you hooked on the kite today? I think seven. Seven? Yeah, yeah. you're master. <laughs> We got three on right now. Three on and we got out. Oh nice, he's still on. Nice, he made it out of the tangle. Antonio Gaff Master. Look at this throwing food out the end of the gallery. Nice one. That one's your seat? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he took you all over. You hooked him on the stern, up on the bow. Got out of the tangles. You were tangled yeah. with a bunch of people, making it up. And hell yeah, good job, bro. Thanks, brother. Same to you. Lunch time here. Full pork sandwiches. I think we're at 33 bluefin right now. Hooked a bunch on maybe seven or eight, nine of them on the kite. Ocean Odyssey's out here. What time is it right now? 12.20. All right, time to chow down, chow down. 31, 32, 33. 33. 33 blue pins. Nice. <laughs> Color on it. Gaff man with another one. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. Another one on the kite. Good job. Good. That's your first loop in? Uh, yep. Yep. You need the heart now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I've been feeling. No, it's okay. You'll feel better afterwards. Yeah, I won't. You gotta do it or it's bad luck on the boat. We're leaving. Oh, huh? man. Seals are trying to eat it. The seals are going for the Brad, another Brad. hookup on the kite. Brad! Brad! Hey! Hey, hey Porta, go to Kachana. Get us my. Go on out there. Another one on the kite. Dude, that's a good one. Nice, nice one. You got yeah, it. you got it. You got it. Your, your number's going on it. Yeah. Tim right, making it happen. <laughs> nice. nice one, bro. Hey. Did you get a bait from the tank up there? Or did you hook it back uh, here and walked it, it? I hooked it back here and walked and it. Walked I it was up. grabbing them from the tank. Room. How long of a soak was that? Uh. Probably about five minutes. And then on the yeah, on their setup, huh? Yeah. You know, the 40 pound. Yeah, all mine nice kept, job, bro. Mine kept getting tangled, so I just said cut it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, start, I'll use a rental. All right, that's gonna do it. That's it. That's all for Tanner Bank. I think we ended up with around 35 bluefin. Now we're gonna go move and do some bottom fishing. Moving spots. We're up on the anchor the whole day here. Same spot. Kite fish, live bait fish, no jig fish. There's the kite, double trouble. Got the electric reel and the Makaira. Probably got like 10 fish on the kite, huh? Yeah. He hooked a lot, yeah. All right, we're fishing the bottom now. Just double dropper loop, two sardines on it. Just spread out guys, watch around. Everybody's all on top of each other. Those are nice ones. Way to go, putter. Yeah. Oh. There you are. Oh, my. Yeah. Big chunky rats. Right? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Look at that collar on that thing. Beauty. Nice one. That was a beautiful fish. He's working it, working hard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, getting the big blue fin and then getting the big reds. You want a shot with your phone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chris, look at the leak. Out of way. That's a beauty. Yeah. And the big reds. Counting feet, making it happen. Oh, He's going to gaff it. Got him. <laughs> And he saved the meat. Look at that. Through <laughs> the gills. That one pound sinker. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> little rats. Yep. <laughs> Just a little. All right, we're going to octopus. No, I'm going to look at the link caught octopus bait. Some fish caught, oh. caught that up. Chris got. Did you see his link caught? No. Oh. Chris got. Yeah. Big one. Big one. Nice one. I thought it hit his rod. I didn't see it come up. Yeah, he got slammed right when he hit the bottom. Big boys. <laughs> yeah, nice job. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. 
It's a red onion, steak, salad, potatoes. Master Chef, gracias. 